In this video on building a model of the solar system in Autodesk 3ds Max, I'll start out by setting my project folder. What we want to do when we're starting out a scene is to set the project and then save our scenes in that project folder. The project also determines where we look for things like images that are part of materials and when we render out movies where they go. I'll click on the Max icon and choose Manage and Set Project Folder. I'll browse to the Solar System directory to set my project. Here in the Assets or Datasets folder is my Solar System project. 3ds Max has created the subdirectories for me. My Scenes go in the Scenes folder. Scene Assets contains images and movies that are part of materials. When I render movies, they'll go into Render Output and so forth. I'll set my project here to Solar System and click OK. Now I'm ready to create my planets. I'm going to make a scale model, as planet scale is far too large to deal with in Max. First, I'll choose Customize and Unit Setup. I'll put my units in metric, and I'm going to work in meters, and I'll click OK. Now I'll maximize my viewport by clicking on the Maximize Viewport toggle in the bottom right corner of the user interface. I'm working in one big view and I'll hold control and right click to pull up the modeling quad. I'll choose sphere. Notice that this is a very quick way to make objects. Alternately I could use the command panel on the right or under create on the top menu and choose primitives and so forth. But this gives me a sphere right at my fingertips on my mouse. I'll click and drag in a sphere and this first one will be earth. I'll right click to stop creating and click on the modifier tab. I'll name this first sphere earth and then I'll set the radius at 0.5. We're going to make the Earth 1 meter, or 1 Earth diameter, and refer the other planets to it. Now I can look on this PDF, Planet Statistics, that's in the Assets folder, and get the other sizes of the planets. I'll scroll back a little bit, and clone this. Pressing W for Move, holding Shift, and dragging on the X axis. I'll click Copy, and name this one Mars. Now that I have another sphere set, I can get its radius in correctly. We can see in this PDF that Mars in Earth diameters is 0.533, a little more than half. So I can put that number in and divide it by 2 to get the radius. I'll put in the radius then of 0.533 slash 2. Max will divide for us numbers in a field like this. When I press enter, there's Mars's radius at 0.267, or 0.533 diameters of Earth. I can make the other planets the same way, holding shift to clone, in this case, Venus, and putting in the right radius. I'll finish these out and show the planets and the moon all set and ready to position and get materials on. I've cloned out the other planets, named them, and sized them. We have the four small planets in front, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and then the four gas giants, or outer planets, afterwards, starting with Jupiter, at over 10 Earth diameters big. Now we'll get the Sun in. We can see here in this PDF that the Sun is 109 Earth diameters. That's absolutely giant, so big that in our model, actually, it would obscure most of the other planets. For example, if I hold control and right click and make a sphere and put in this sphere in the radius 109 slash 2, it takes over the rest of the planet system. So I'm going to downsize the sun a little bit. I'm going to give the sun a radius of 6 and we'll name it the sun and make it nice and bright and it will be a figurative sun. We will know it's the sun because it's looking like the sun and called the sun but it'll be much smaller in size so it doesn't overwhelm the rest of our model. I'll name this sphere Sun and I'm ready to get on materials and get the planets on their orbits.